Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. Welcome to Mastering Luminar 2018. In this chapter four of Mastering Luminar 2018, we're gonna talk about workspaces. Now, all a workspace is, it's a group of filters that hopefully better help you process a specific type of photography. For example, if we look over at this right-hand panel, right here it says Clear Workspace. If I click on that, it opens up into a menu, and you can see there's a bunch of different workspaces. Professional, Quick and Awesome, Essentials, Aerial. Let's pick one, Landscape. We'll click on that, and you'll see that Luminar pre-populates the right-hand panel with a bunch of different filters that Luminar you know, hopes would help a landscape photographer. Now, similarly, we could click on that, clear it, get rid of all those, and let's look at maybe an aerial photographer. And you can see there's filters there that hopefully help someone who is taking aerial shots. Let's clear that again. Now, I think the real power of workspaces are that you could customize it to you you may find that you use a specific set of filters all the time for your type of landscape photography or portrait photography or whatever. And you could set it up so that it will save you time. You could just open up your workspace and start processing your image without picking out each of the, your filters one by one. Now, even if you use one of these pre-populated one like professional, that doesn't mean you have to use every filter that is in the Wilk workspace. If you find that you don't need to use one, just get rid of it. Hit the X. If you find that you need to add a different one, just go there and add it. That's all there is to it. So you could add to or take away from any of the workspaces, even these pre-populated ones that come with, with uh, Luminar 2018. Now I'm going to process this image as I normally would. Now I'm going to go very quickly, so I'm probably not going to do a great job but then I'm gonna create my own custom workspace to show you how to do that. So we're gonna add some filters and I'm gonna start out with my raw develop filter. And we'll just do very quickly here. I'm gonna bring highlights down to try to bring out more color in that sunrise. We're gonna open up the shadows enough so that we could see some detail on our statue. I'm gonna get a quick white point by holding the alter option key in. It's alt if you have a PC, option if you have a Mac. And it is a sunrise, so I do want some of that light to show through here. And similarly, I hold that Alter Option key in for the blacks and get a nice black point that looks pretty good. We'll just add a smidge of clarity and a little bit of contrast. It's kind of a contrasty shot already because it is a sunrise, so I think that's all right with that one. I want to add some saturation and vibrance, so... Typically, to tell you the truth, I don't add much saturation, but I do add a little vibrance. So I'm going to add maybe 15. And let's see, we'll go through, let's go to tone. Maybe I could bring out the statues. You can see there's similar sliders in the tone filter than and as compared to the, um, uh, the uh, raw adjustment filter. But I think what we'll do is we'll go to shadows. Yeah, just bring out a little more there. Uh, let's see, I want brilliance and warmth. So I want to make it just a little warmer and a little more vividness. Uh, let's see. So I go through golden hour, because it was the golden hour. It was the sunrise. And I want to bring that up a little bit. Saturate it a touch more. And for the sake of this video, let's say we're just about done and we'll add a vignette, okay? So we'll go here and I wanna add my darker vignette around the edges. I wanna bring up the inner light just a little bit, like that. I like the center where it's placed. That might be too bright. Okay, I, I'm done with this image. And this is, let's say, the same filters that I would always use for a golden hour shot. So I'm going to go to where it says custom workspace, click there, and down here it says save as a new workspace. So I'm going to open that up and I'm going to call it golden hour. 
and I'm going to click on Save New Workspace. Now, you can see it's, it's right there, golden hour. Now, if I reset this by clearing the workspace, it brings your image back to before you did any processing. And we'll go to our golden hour work or golden hour workspace. I just want you to be aware that it just opens up the filters. You still have to process them. So it's not going to save your settings. It just saves your filters. So it does come in really handy. I think this would really help those of you that do a lot of the same type of shooting, uh, wedding photographers, portrait photographers. Uh, you're doing the same type of shots over and over again, uh, and you find you're using the same filters over and over again, I think this will save you a lot of time. So this is it for Chapter 4. In Chapter 5, uh, we're going to talk about um, LUTs a little bit. Those are lookup tables, very powerful feature of Luminar 2018. And we're going to talk about um, a little bit more of the tools and some layer masks. We talk about filter masks in the past, but layer masks are similar but different. And we're going to talk about that. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.